So uh, are you in like uh, I feel like a lot of people that go to acting school feels like it's very oh, yeah. oh are you are you fully in on that and you're enjoying it and things like that? Uh, it's mega like that. I mean, super dramatic, super over the top, super hammy. Yeah, I mean, well, the first thing I did when I got there was like I got I was like I got to buckle down, man. I'm in college now. <laughs> this is not fucking high school. These kids are the cream of the crop. You're so studious. I love yeah. it. And I competitive. Like, I'm not in fucking what is she saying? Wizard of Oz. I'm not in Kansas anymore. Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. And I, I, so I went to the school for like a week or so, and um, and I wasn't. The, I was like, oh, some of these kids aren't aren't good. <laughs> uh, again, that thing came back, and I remember. So my dad uh, has been friends with this guy, uh, um, uh, David Kep, for like thirty years. He's also a writer. Okay. Uh, he's a very prominent writer. I'll just say that much. And. Uh, the guy lives in New York, and my dad was like, "Oh, my son's moving to New York. He's eighteen. You want to like take him to dinner every once in a while?" And Dave said, "Of course." And uh, you know, he lives in a fucking brownstone off the park, and, and he's a big deal guy. And um, he takes me out to dinner, and he's like, "How's it going so far? You've been at NYU?" And I was like, "I gotta tell you, like, I had this weird thing where I was like, oh, some of these kids aren't good. Like, I thought I was a, <laughs> this is Tish." And he was like, "This is the first lesson of show business, Nelson. No matter how high up the ladder you get, fifty percent of the people suck." <laughs> And that's just something you're gonna have to. This is a great lesson you learn so fast. Yeah, that's cool. But no, it's very theatrical. If you're late, they just close the door and you Jeez. and you're and because they're trying to instill in you this thing about like, oh, you, for the showtime, yeah. you got to get there. You can't keep the audience waiting or whatever. And at Adler, where I went, you're not allowed to do contemporary work for oh, the first geez. two years. Oh, it's only the classics, Shakespeare, crazy, Chekhov. I, I got to do some Moliere once, and I was like, this is a fucking treat. You know, like, that's the kind of shit. That's why I did so much sketch when I was in college. Um, it was, like, the only release from that. I love comedy. and Yeah. Uh, but it was great to do that stuff. I mean, if you do, like, ten Shakespeare plays, then memorizing some fucking sides about, like, taking a shit. It's, yeah. It's just like a joke at that point. Oh, moment, yeah. You know? It's a nice release. Very good training. Pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> I learned how to stand up straight because, I'm, you know, tall guys hunch sometimes. It was very good for the body and the mind and all that shit. So what, what's your day-to-day like there? Are you basically getting in early and acting all day? Or are you doing studying theory? Or are you writing papers? What What is it like? <laughs> the, the acting major is pretty cushy because you don't have to take history, science, math, English language and none of that <laughs> shit but it is it's not a strict conservatory so three days a week you're in the acting school from like 9 a.m until like midnight or some shit just pretending to be like a puppy or whatever or like doing all you know. kinds of shit like that i mean the school technically ends at six but then you gotta work on other shit until right. late and then the other two days of the week you take classes like a writing class like a <clears throat> like a you gotta take science credits but they don't have to be like science classes like where you have fucking flasks and shit you, right you do a class where it's like the science of TV was one of the classes I took, which is like just like <laughs> how TV is fuck with us. But yeah, it's like super immersive, and you're doing like every week you have like a couple of scenes and a couple of monologues you got to do, and you just perform so much, it's yeah, just nonstop, and that's just fucking priceless. What are you doing with your free time in the in the city? I mean, like you're right in the heart of Manhattan. Are you yeah. going up? Are you running uh, around? Yeah. You see in the town? Or are you mostly stuck in the dorms and the campus area? Yeah, those three days a week when you're doing the when you're doing conservatory, you're you're sort of jammed. But the studio, you know, we, all the dorms are downtown. They're they're below Union Square. All the oh, time. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it's all down there. Uh, I lived in dorms that were like on 10th Street. I lived on 7th Street. I lived in Chinatown. Oh um, wow. And then my acting school was on 27th Street, so I always I was always taking a trip. Like, so I never went higher than Times Square the whole time I lived. Really? In. Yeah. Uptown was like a fucking other country to me. That's so fascinating to me. Uh, it's a cool place down there, and a lot of kids lived in Brooklyn back then because like, this is Brooklyn before it was like hot shit. Yeah, yeah. Living in Bensonhurst and living yeah in, before Gowanus was all ooh. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't like going there because I was scared. <laughs> it was scary shit. But uh, so are you but, like roaming the the yeah. lower side at all, or are yeah, you we're going tr- everywhere? Trying new restaurants every night? Are you oh, seeing shows at oh, yeah. the Comedy Cellar? NYU is really good about their student discounts are nuts. You can go to oh. Broadway shows for 20 bucks and stuff. Really? Oh, it's crazy. We oh, that's great. All kinds of shows and music all the time. And uh, when I went to NYU, I was 6'5". By the time I was 18, and I weighed 180 pounds. And when I graduated, I was 240. <laughs> so I, was eating, I was eating like five or six meals a day. And I was walking like five miles a day, too. Yeah. I believe. There's so much stuff to do. Uh, you know, obviously I miss it, but the quality of life sucks dick. Yeah, for sure. I, but I just feel like that would be such an exciting time because it's like yeah. you're out on your own, you're 18, you're in New York. It's it just amazing. seems like it could be. It seems like you could really have a good time with it or you could really get lost and yeah. end up. 
I mean, they take street. advantage. They take advantage of the city. Like, uh, I remember my first day of school, we had a movement class, which was already a stretch for me, where you go into this class. Movement class became, you know, anyone who's been in an acting school knows. It's like, if you're not into that kind of thing, it's real hard to get used to. They're like, move around the space as your favorite animal. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll be like a giraffe. So I was like walking around like a giraffe or whatever. Great. <laughs> Great uh, we, choice. <laughs> we do that for like a half an hour, and they're like, okay. Uh, we're going to go out to Bryant Park now. What, is that what that park is on 27th and Broadway right there? I think so. I was like on 5th or whatever. Uh, sure. It's a bustling. Thompson Square Park. I don't know. Not that way. Well, I think that's downtown. I think so. Yeah. Well, it's East Village. Yeah. So we go to the park there. That's where Shake Shack is in that park. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and it's like September, so it's still okay. hot out. It's yeah. a beautiful day. Millions of people milling around this park. And they're like, okay, do your animal now in the park. Oh. And we're like, this is the first day of school. And I'm like, oh, I can't do this. You know, and so we're like, everyone's like walking around, like pretending they're an animal. People like riding by on bugs, faggot, you know, just stuff like that. And they're, the point is they're like, your dignity. I mean, I guess this is a rude way to put it, but like your dignity is gone right away. They're that like, is awesome. Get all that shit out of your system. You got to leave it all at the door now. What You just open up your, your yourself to the work now. You know? Yeah. So get get used to people that's booing you and telling you you suck or you're a freak or whatever. That it's is like, so cool. It's over. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. How yeah. long were you there for? Yeah, 45 minutes or something. That is so up. awesome. Yeah. Kid got pushed on the ground by some like crazy homeless guy. And they're like, okay, are you okay? Okay. Just keep doing it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. That is great.